Aired four star general Colin Powell and General Powell, thank you so much. What's thank going you so on, much baby? for coming on this morning. Hey, uh, in light of what President Trump incited yesterday, Twitter and Facebook took action to secure their platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, the president has access to the nuclear codes. Too much to do, what too late. What should be done to secure our democracy? Put him in a straight jacket. Well, let me say first, I'm pleased Dummy. to be with you this morning as you cover this terrible issue. Mm -hmm. I have never seen anything or experienced anything like this in my many years of public service. Me either. Yesterday was a national disgrace, but we'll come through it. We know how to come through things like this. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a little bit of uh, the uh, riot we had in 92 okay. when uh, we had... Uh, a riot because of the uh, effect of the Rodney King thing. Uh -huh. um, and uh, Rodney we King were called riot. in. And I was the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And President Bush called me and said, send in the troops. We did. Send in the troops for the niggas. Conclusion. In this case, though, I do not know what the plan was. I cannot tell how many people <laughs> were going you to be there. You knew what the plan was then because I was there. Why we didn't have I more National Guardsmen my... on standby. Maybe they weren't there right away, but why weren't they on standby? And so I think that the plan was not good, and I hope that this will be examined very, very closely. But once again, we see President Trump doing things that are absolutely outrageous, criminal, claiming that he is going to be the president of the United States when he knows he isn't. But most shocking of it all uh -huh. was that we had to deal with this, uh -huh. and you had a Congress that was not dealing with it. Mm, exactly. And so every time I think about President Trump, uh -huh. I also think about the Congress that did not do its job. Okay. It did not do its job. I agree. It just went along with him. And there you have 12, oh, really 14 nearly. senators who are right with him. Mm -hmm. That's not what we should have done. Mm -mm. We should have had a Congress that realized the problems that existed and did something about it. They'd done it before on a number of occasions. Mm -hmm. They did not do it on this occasion. Oh, look at that man. And we should have seen what was happening early on. As I watched it on television. We the people. I myself, wait a minute. I where, where are the cops? What the where are the policemen? Uh, How are they in reserve? Uh, Who's in reserve? How far away are they? Are they? And it took hours for them to respond because they had to go into the building first and take care of that problem. Mm -hmm. So I think it was a disgraceful performance by our leaders, a, a disgraceful power. performance by our military and our police officials mm -hmm. and those who are responsible for those individuals. Mm -hmm. But we've got to make sure that we're on top of this. Mm -hmm. But this scares me that it was our Congress that for the last four years has put up with this. I'll never forget my first time as a public official when this administration came into being. And Donald Trump went after Mr. Obama by saying he was born somewhere else. Well, he wasn't born anywhere else. But he sent off, Mr. Mr. Trump sent off investigators who were not investigating anything. He was using it as a tool against public opinion and that's the way he is and we've watched this now for four years and here it is four years later he has lost the election it has been demonstrated three times by testing that he has lost the election and he is not going to be the president again and nobody would accept it president obama was gone of course but president trump would not accept that and that was a disgrace and why didn't more people speak out against it and say no and keep something like this from happening. As a soldier, in my old days, I don't remember quite the layout of troops that we had. Where were the backup troops? Who was in reserve? Where was the guard? Where are the active duty oh, troops? That's doable. Oh, and it wasn't done. It hasn't been done well. And so I hope that when uh, President Biden comes in, he will address this problem. And I have great experience with President um, Why is he only the the one here? I'm sure that he has what it takes to be on top of a situation like this. I've known him for many years. I've worked with him, and I'm quite sure that he will be doing a good job. Um, uh, Mr. Secretary, you, um, four years ago, uh, warned Americans that Donald Trump was a national disgrace. Uh, you said he would be an international pariah. All of that is... <laughs> Uh, proven to be true. Uh, we had every living uh, Secretary of Defense uh, at the behest of Dick Cheney 
uh, write a letter, sign a letter warning about what he could do in the remaining days. What are your biggest specific concerns? What should uh, government leaders, what should members of the House and the Senate be concerned about over the next 12, 13 days that Donald Trump could do to further undermine American democracy? You must not be allowed to do anything like this. We have to make sure that the military knows its job and that the Congress is being protected and the, Cong uh, the Congress is being protected. But we have to make sure that Congress is ready to step in. If he ever tries anything like this, he shouldn't be able to get away with it. You have to we think have about a it. System, he sent all those people and to got kill to do something and not just stand Nancy. there and watch it go by. And Adam Shifty General Schiff. General Powell, it's Willie Geist, so let's and, be specific um, about what you mean. Pence, Congress stepping in, the military they were gonna being hurt ready. Those people. What should they be ready for? What do you see as possible in these you final two that's weeks? Deep. I'd be surprised if we had anything like yesterday, but we have to be alert to that possibly happening. They said they so were we should have back. a reserve of forces, mm -hmm. National Guard, active army, Marines, whatever we need, mm -hmm. whatever the military thinks might be appropriate to have standing by. Okay. So that something like this does break out mm -hmm. within minutes, we have troops on the way okay. and they are carrying weapons. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the people who were in this uh, startup yesterday were not even carrying weapons. Carry weapons. See, they were carrying weapons, carrying damn weapons. Well, all right, everybody, you heard Mindy speaking with Colin Powell or just chilling with them while they were doing their thing. So what do you think about Mindy? Does she get on your nerves? Please express yourself in, your, in the comments. Now, if you did like the video, otherwise, please hit the like and subscribe to become a friend. So until next time, and there will be a next time, take care of yourself. Bye.